Please be seated. <clears throat> Greetings and good morning. On behalf of the faculty, staff, students, Chancellor for Health Sciences, Dr. Christopher Kalenda, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Michelle Wheatley, and Chair of the WVU Board of Governors, Carolyn Long, I welcome you to the 2010 Convocation Investiture and Degree Conferring Ceremony of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry. We are here this morning to recognize, honor, and confer diplomas to the school's candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Dental Surgery, Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene, and Master of Science and Certificate in Advanced Education programs. We are extremely proud of each of you, and it is truly a pleasure for your faculty and staff your family, and your friends to assemble in your honor at this ceremony. Now I would like to recognize Dr. Christopher C. Kalenda, the Chancellor for Health Sciences at West Virginia University. Previously, he served as the Jean and Thomas McMullen Dean of the College of Medicine of Texas A&M Health Science Center and Vice President for Clinical Affairs. Dr. Kalenda is a specialist in psychiatry who has tr special training in preventive medicine and public health from John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and Hygiene. He has held previous academic and administrative appointments at Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine, Wake Forest University School of Medicine, and Medical College of Virginia of Virginia Commonwealth University. He has received outstanding faculty awards and is a member of the National Medical Honor Societies. He has long been active in health policy issues nationally. He has been serving as the Chancellor for Health Sciences here at WVU since November of 2009. This is going to be quite a busy weekend for Dr. Kalenda as he will be participating in each of the five health science graduations. We appreciate his support of our School of Dentistry. Please welcome Dr. Chris Kalenda. Thank you, Dean Veselecki and faculty and students for the honor and privilege of being here at this graduation for the dental school, uh, for the uh, folks who are getting their degrees in doctor of dental surgery, the high, uh, dental hygienist, degree and a graduate degrees in dental sciences. Um, I uh, am a patient of this dental school and I am delighted to be a patient at this dental school because of the high quality of services that, that uh, are provided here. So your children, your loved ones, have received outstanding education, outstanding training here and when they go forward into their chosen profession they will be outstanding clinicians. In, in the dental arts. Now for the, for the students, I think it's appropriate now for you to acknowledge the family and friends that have helped you get to where you are today. And I think that uh, you, to show that appreciation, please stand and give them a rousing round of applause. You would not have been here had it not been for your family and fa friends. We are about to enter into a brave new world of healthcare reform, and the students uh, and, and soon to be professional graduates of this college will be at the forefront of, their, of the brave new world of healthcare reform. And one of the things that I think is important for us to remember is that, as for, as for healthcare professionals, putting the patient first is part of our core values. We also have a, a responsibility to our society and to the communities in which we work and live. Uh, our, our duty is to maintain the highest ethical standards that we have 
and you've chosen a profession in which high ethical standards and professionalism is at the very fundamental core of what you do day in and day out. I think the, the personal, I would remind you of your personal attributes of positive humility, service to others, moral integrity, complemented by cultural competence for the various patients that you will serve, your ongoing personal motivation to be up to date and to, to be leaders in your chosen profession, in your communities and nationally. And first and, and last and foremost is to remain a lifelong learner as we change in terms of the evolution of healthcare delivery, dental, dental delivery, and the dental arts. You've absorbed many facts, and now it's time to apply those facts to practice. So one of the things that I've given you in your graduation gifts is a coin. Now, I, I see there's a, a young major out in the audience, and he might understand what the meaning of these coins are. But, uh, the historically uh, coins come, have come out of the military tradition of, of importance in terms of quiet communication between brethren of a particular unit of a particular uh, period of time. And I've given you a coin that, that's, that reflects the 50th anniversary of uh, West Virginia University's uh, founding of the Health Science Center as a consolidated group of colleges here uh, in Morgantown. Now, Historically, this was a very important symbol to communicate privately among uh, soldiers and sail sailors, airmen, and Marines to communicate their uh, loyalty to one another. It's evolved over years, and as you come back to your 25th reunion and your 50th reunion, I would advise you to have your coin in your pocket because if you don't have your coin in, in your pocket, and when somebody asks you, do you have your coin, if you don't have it, you get to buy the drinks. <laughs> Major, is that correct? <laughs> okay. So anyway, as a token of, of our commitment to you, as a token of your lifelong commitment to West Virginia University, to the School of Dentistry, uh, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Be courageous in your beliefs. Be humble in the eyes of your patients and your families. Tr truly honor your loved ones because they're the ones who support you day in and day out. And please live enriched and transformed lives. Thank you all. Enjoy the, the celebration. This is a tremendous day. And I look forward to uh, getting to know you and to serving this university into the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Kalenda. We appreciate your insightful thoughts as our graduates face the world of healthcare reform, taking with them the skills they have acquired during their time with us, as well as remembering what it means to be a professional. As I mentioned, Dr. Kalenda will be attending other health science ceremonies today, so we do thank him for his presence here this morning. I'm going to take a little bit of a different twist on, on um, uh, congratulating the people sitting in the audience today. So I would like um, the members of our audience who have supported the graduates sitting here today to, for the parents to stand of our graduates, the parents and grandparents. We appreciate the time, talents, and treasures you have given to our students. While the parents and grandparents please stand. Will the spouses and or significant others of our graduates please stand and be recognized? <laughs> and one more. Will the children of our graduates please stand and be recognized? The children. As Chancellor Kalenda remarked, we all appreciate the support, encouragement, and help that you have given our graduates. We also
take a moment to remember those members of our family who are departed. Fifty-three years ago, in 1957, the School of Dentistry had its beginning with the admission of the first class of dental students. In the fall of 1961, a four-year program in dental hygiene was introduced. Since this time, 2,062 dentists have earned the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery. 865 dental hygienists have earned the degree of Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene. 25 dental hygienists have received a Master of Science degree in Dental Hygiene, and 424 dentists have received the degree of Master of Science and or postdoctoral certificates. Over the years, our School of Dentistry has gained a regional and national reputation for producing outstanding clinicians. Students in this class sitting on the stage today have done clinical externships in Alaska, Arizona, Maine, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Our students found that they have strong clinical skills when working amongst their peers from other schools. The School of Dentistry has had and continues to have a major impact on the oral health of many West Virginians. Through the school's rural health program, patients are being cared for by students and rural site faculty in communities throughout the entire state. We currently have 36 remote site dental offices throughout West Virginia and 65 remote site faculty. In this past year, both the dental and dental hygiene students from the class of 2010 sitting on the stage today have provided care for over 5,400 patients in rural West Virginia, which resulted in a significant amount of oral health services to populations who need care the most. We appreciate your efforts. Today, over 81% of the state's practicing dentists and 25% of the state's practicing dental hygienists are alumni of the school. From these figures, it is clear that the School of Dentistry has had and continues to have a tremendous impact on the health of the citizens of West Virginia. In January of this year, the School of Dentistry received a $250,000 grant from the Claude Worthington Benenden Foundation to launch the WVU Oral Health Initiative that is a multifaceted program to change perceptions of oral health, improve daily oral hygiene behavior, and mobilize the oral health workforce into areas of greatest need. Your class has actively participated in our CHOMP program, where we partnered with a Mon County school system and bus children who either had never seen a dentist or did not have a regular, regular dental care. We bus those children into our clinics for an extensive amount of dental care. This fall, 2010, we will bus students from Montegalia, Harrison, and Preston counties, and we're currently working with Taylor and Marion counties. The delivery of dental care today is changing so rapidly, in part because of the introduction of new technologies into the market. It will be a challenge for our graduates to figure out how to determine what is the best evidence-based technology for their particular practice. As a means of giving our students an appreciation of how to critically evaluate new technologies and to give them a special educational opportunity, in the fall of 2009, we had an educational specialist in laser dentistry come to our school along with several of our faculty to train the senior dental class the postdoctoral seniors and some of our faculty on an evidence-based approach to the practice of laser dentistry. In addition to receiving their diplomas today, our dental graduates will be receiving a special certification in laser dentistry. We are one of the few dental schools in the United States to offer this type of course and certification. The students had to take the course and successfully complete a competency examination both in laboratory and in the classroom. 
Congratulations to our graduates for this extra accomplishment. As Dr. Kalunda mentioned, healthcare has been a hot topic in our country for some time. With the passage of this new health care legislation, all of our lives and our practices will be affected. In addition to health care, oral health is also receiving a lot of national attention. The Institute of Medicine initiated a study in the spring of 2010. The goal of the study is to address access to dental care and to look at the oral health care workforce in the United States. At WVU School of Dentistry, we have become proactive in addressing these very same concerns. You, as our School of Dentistry graduates, need to accept and embrace your responsibility to help serve some and address some of the challenges of access to and delivery of oral health care in our state and in our society. I am sure through your clinical education here, you have come to recognize some of these challenges, such as raising patients' expectations and beliefs that their teeth are important and worth saving. Our major research emphasis continues to be on oral health disparities, access to care, recruitment and retention of a diverse population of students, as well as collaborating on projects with other units within and outside the university. We are very proud of our student research efforts. This past year, we have had three dental and three dental hygiene students from this class who have been involved in research that resulted in national presentations. The WVU School of Dentistry recently received $2.8 million grant to study oral health disparities in Appalachia. The five-year NIH grant is called Factors Contributing to Oral Health Disparities in Appalachia and is the largest NIH grant made to the School of Dentistry. Dr. Richard Kraut, our Associate Dean for Research, is the PI on this grant. Congratulations to Dr. Kraut and his colleagues. This day is for you, our 2010 graduates. We are here this morning to applaud your accomplishments as you have progressed through the curriculum of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry. Today is a day for celebration and reflection. How fast the four years have gone by since you enrolled in the School of Dentistry. And I have to say this, and it's always the profound statement, after today, there will never be a time in which every single one of you will be together again like you are right now. Stop and cherish this moment. You have progressed from the classroom into the laboratory, into the clinical setting, growing and developing your clinical and your patient management skills, as well as continuing to build your knowledge base. I'm sure that all of you today sit here with a multitude of memories associated with the last four years. I hope the most meaningful and lasting memories of West Virginia University School of Dentistry are good ones, in which you develop a sense of appreciation of the professions you have chosen, as well as the education you have received here. As part of the senior dental student checkout process, I have met with each one of you in the last couple weeks. It was impressive that so many of you stopped to reflect on what you've appreciated as well as what you have found challenging during your last four years in dental school and that you took the time to share this information with me. There are some people that came with typed pages for me, but it, was, it really was an honor for me to have this opportunity to share with each of you on an individual basis. All of you expressed in some form or another your sense of appreciation for the strong clinical education you received here at the WVU School of Dentistry. Some of you described, in some detail I might add, some of the bumps in the road that you experienced while you were in school. 
Others told me that as they look back at these years in dental school, they feel they could have tried harder and maybe learned more, but they appreciate what they've learned. Your classmates have also mentioned how very much they will always treasure the good friends that they have made and how much your classmates mean to each other. I pledge to take your feedback and continue to work at creating a strong and positive learning environment for all students of the WVU School of Dentistry. You relayed to me an appreciation for the time and efforts put into your education by various faculty and staff. Mrs. Funk met with the dental hygiene seniors and received a similar response. This class experienced many changes in the curriculum. It was challenging at times, but they realized that the changes gave them a stronger educational base on which to practice their profession. They appreciated certain dental faculty who integrated the dental team concept into their educational experience. They felt extremely well prepared for boards. You all feel that our school has provided you with the basic skills needed to embark on the practice of dentistry and dental hygiene. We will always strive to improve and truly appreciate all that you all had to say to us. Our faculty and staff have been and will continue to be committed to helping students develop into the most proficient dental and dental hygiene practitioners possible and promoting a high level of ethical and professional behavior. I hope as the years go by that you will realize how very much we have cared about you. Will all of the faculty and staff of the WVU School of Dentistry please stand and be recognized. Thank you for all of your efforts. The more you care and dedicate yourselves to our school, the better the school becomes. Graduating students, you're about to enter into a new phase of your professional lives. Patients will be entrusting their oral care to you and possibly their lives. Embrace this trust. Take what you have learned here at the School of Dentistry as a foundation knowledge and skill base from which you must soar to the highest levels of professionalism and ethical behavior. Remember, you will always be identified as a graduate of West Virginia University. Be proud of this degree you will be granted today and make us continue to always be proud of you. The Alumni Association of the School of Dentistry had its beginning with the graduation of the first dental class. Our dental and dental hygiene alumni have continuously played a major role in the school's development and recognition. The School of Dentistry Alumni Association's Board of Governors has instituted numerous activities to enhance the student's educational experience. A professionalism assembly reception is held for Freshmen, as they come and their parents shortly after they arrive on campus, they help support student table clinics and table clinic awards. The fall and spring alumni CE programs and luncheon, they provide student clinician awards as well as instrument awards. They help support the clinic induction ceremony. They also help support the senior banquet and provide the graduation mug with the classmates' pictures embedded on it which was given to each dental and dental hygiene student yesterday at our senior banquet luncheon. Throughout the football season, students are encouraged to attend the alumni tailgates. As an alumnus of the school, the Alumni Association sponsors reunion banquets, receptions, class address descriptions, whatever it takes to help you connect, stay connected with each other and with our school. We are especially pleased to have Dr. Lorena Serber, current president of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry Alumni Association, with us this morning to bring greetings to this year's graduates and to deliver the commencement address. Dr. Serber received a BS in dental hygiene 
from WVU in 1972 and a DDS from WVU in 1990. For most of her professional career, she's been in private practice, initially as a dental hygienist, and for the last 20 years as a practicing dentist in Charleston, West Virginia. Dr. Server has been involved in organized dentistry. She served as editor for the w West Virginia Academy of General Dentistry, where for two years she received the William W. Howard ACE Award of Excellence. Dr. Serber. Thank you. And greetings to our graduates, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, families, and friends. It's an honor to be here as president of the School of Dentistry Alumni Association. It is especially an honor since I was a graduate of both the School of Dental Hygiene and the School of Dentistry. This is such an exciting time to be starting a career in the dental profession with so many advances in technology. If someone had told me 20 years ago that I would have a computer in every operatory, be using digital radiography and lasers to not only diagnose decay, but to, but to do fillings and gum treatments, I would have thought they were crazy. But no matter how many advances are being made and how many bells and whistles you have in your office, one thing still remains the same. We are not just treating teeth and gums we are treating patients. Patients with feelings, concerns, and anxieties. Remember not to refer to your patient as a procedure. They are not the crown prep appointment, or the root canal appointment, or the prophy. They are people like you and me. Get to know your patient, their birthdays, their anniversaries, and what they did on their last vacation. Ask them what their concerns are and how they want to improve their smile, and then stop and listen. It's amazing what you'll hear. A grandfather will tell you that his grandson crawled up in his lap and asked what those black things were in his teeth and why his teeth were so yellow. A spry 90-year-old woman told me she couldn't wait till I could replace the gold crown on her tooth because she hated it since it was put in 40 years ago. But recently, a woman who hadn't been to the dentist in over 10 years told me that the dentist hurt her and she didn't want to go back. She said, I told him it was hurting and he just wouldn't stop. It saddens me to think that maybe somewhere along the way we have failed. Have you ever stopped to think why there are so many people still afraid to go to the dentist and why? I tease my patients that I'm out to try to change the image of dentistry, and you can too. You are the future of dentistry, and you can make a difference. You can make them have the best dental experience they ever had. Show them that you care, be kind and compassionate, and have a gentle touch. Treat your patients as you would want to be treated, and ask them how you can make them more comfortable. It's amazing what a few tissues and some lip balm will do. It might be even as simple as readjusting the headrest or giving them a pillow. When your patients are comfortable and relaxed, you will be too, and you can do the best dentistry that you can do. And remember to take off your loops and look at your patient. Watch them talk and smile. Do they cover their mouth with their hand when they smile? It's amazing what happens when you restore a patient's smell or even whiten their teeth. You hand them a mirror and then you see the tears well up in their eyes and then they'll reach over and give you a hug. That's what dentistry is all about. It's helping people. We're not just restoring teeth, we are improving lives. From the grandfather who wanted whiter teeth to the 90-year-old who wanted a tooth-colored crown, and especially the patients who know that you won't hurt them. Your patients will become your extended family. They'll trust you in knowing that you'll do the best you can for them. Dentistry is a challenging profession, but it is so rewarding. When I did my residency after I graduated, 
A medical resident said to me, dentistry must be so rewarding because you can see immediate results. And he was so right. I absolutely love my patients and my practice. I love being a dental hygienist, and I love being a dentist. In the 38 years I've been in the dental profession, I have been truly blessed, and you will be too. And I'm always proud to say that I graduated from WVU. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Serber. Several years ago, a tradition was revived of inviting representatives of the dental and dental hygiene classes to reflect on their years at the School of Dentistry. First, I want to introduce Daniel Cassis, the president of the senior dental class of 2010. Daniel grew up in Fayetteville, West Virginia with his mom, Eva, and dad, Dr. Bruce, and four brothers, Lee, Philip, Louis, and David. Daniel has three grandparents attending this morning, Louis and Elaine Ray Hall and Roanna Cassis. Daniel went to WVU for undergrad and majored in chemistry and minored in biology. While in dental school, he has represented his class on the Alumni Association Board of Governors and attended the Executive Council meeting of the West Virginia Dental Association. Daniel will be working as a general dentist with his father, Bruce, in Fayetteville, West Virginia, until September, when he will be starting an endodontic graduate education program at Temple University. Please join me in welcoming Daniel Cassis. Chancellor Kalinda, Interim Dean Veselicki, Dr. Serber, distinguished faculty members, honored guests and staff, and finally, after a couple million WVUs, my fellow graduates of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry, class of 2010. Come on, guys. Let's go. <clears throat> it has been my greatest honor and privilege to represent you during the past four years. I would like to thank all the faculty and staff at the dental school for the effort and dedication they have shown, they have shown educating our class over the past four years. I would also like to thank the dental professionals throughout the state that had a hand in our education, the Alumni Association, the Rural Health Faculty, and the leadership of the State Dental Associations. While many of these roles are often underappreciated, they were vital to our education, and for that we are grateful. But today, it's about us. It's about what we are going to do with this education and the difference we can make in the world. Dean Veslecki mentioned my family, and on behalf of my class, I would like to thank all of the families here today for their love and support, not only the past four years, but for our entire lives. Some of you traveled far to be with us today. And trust me when I say you're the lucky ones, because if you lived any closer, we'd have had you in our dental chair two years ago as guinea pigs. <laughs> now, you've, you've laid the framework for our character by instilling in us a work ethic and values, and those were crucial to our success in dental school. And for that, we are thankful. You know, we went through three stages in dental school. Stage one is when you realize just how much information you have to learn to be, to be a dentist. Caffeine becomes your favorite food group, all-nighters become routine, and you're so burnt out after two years, all you really remember is how much fun the Halloween parties were. <laughs> then comes stage two, where you realize how much you're beginning to know. You've been seeing patients for a few months, you're getting comfortable, and you're not taking three hours for, for every appointment anymore. Finally, stage three. It's when you know how much you don't know. It's when you realize you don't have any appointments left or opportunities to pick up a pearl of wisdom off a professor or bounce an idea off Tom or Roger. This is it. This is where our dental education ends. But we'll be students of dentistry for the rest of our lives. 
Out of 1,500 applicants, the 50 of us were chosen for the class of 2010. Receiving the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery today adds three letters to the end of your name, but it comes with enormous responsibility. We are aware of the challenges that are facing our generation of dentists. Remember the values and the work ethics that got you this far. Become active in leadership and join the dental associations to work together to make a difference. The greatest return from your education will not come in monetary form. It will not come as a certificate of achievement, but rather as the positive effect you will have on people throughout your community. 30 years ago, my father graduated from the West Virginia University School of Dentistry. And afterwards, his father congratulated him. And he said, now what are you going to do to help other people? So that is what I'm going to leave you with today. We're, you're the most talented, most intelligent, hardest working people I've ever been associated with. So what are we going to do to help other people? Thank you. Mm. Now, it is also my privilege to present the Faculty of the Year Award. This, this award is selected annually by the graduating class. And while it takes a village to train us all as dentists, this professor left a particular impression on all of us. If any of you have ever been to a dentist in the state of West Virginia, he had a hand in that dentist education. His the way he interacts with patients, his clinical skills, and the way he cares about his family make him a role model to us all. A few days ago, we wanted to honor him at our senior banquet. We had our senior banquet yesterday, and we wanted to honor him. And we couldn't think of a word to make his award out for. We were making up our own awards. So we literally called it the David, David Puderball Award. So ladies and gentlemen, our 2010 Faculty Member of the Year, Dr. David Puderbaugh. Thank you very much, Daniel, and congratulations, Dr. Puderbaugh. Now I would like to introduce the president of the Student American Dental Hygienist Association, Kristen Goff. Kristen grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia, with her parents, Mike and Cindy, and her older sister, Brittany. Kristen first became interested in dental hygiene while enrolled in the 10th grade at University High School. She was strongly encouraged to apply to the WVU dental hygiene program by her then dental hygienist, now dental hygiene faculty member, Ms. Sue Ann Gatiss. She has been a very good and energetic SADA president. She's organized and participated in many events, resulting in accumulating over two and a half times the required community service hours. Her future plans are to work in private practice in the Morgantown area. Please join me in welcoming Kristen Goff. Good morning, everyone. As you know, I'm Kristen. Um, I just want to go ahead and thank everyone for being here today. I would like you to thank you for coming out so early. I know it's kind of really early for a graduation. Usually, they're all in the afternoon. We really appreciate that you're here to support your 2010 graduates. It really means a lot to all of us that our family, friends, faculty, and staff are here to help us celebrate this very special occasion. First off, I'm just gonna give you a brief recap of what it's been like for us in the dental hygiene department for the past four years. It's kind of a hectic life. Um, and then I wanna follow up with this, what these years have meant. 
I can say for all of us that I think we remember our first day of head and neck anatomy. We were sitting there, strangers to each other. We just pretty much got thrown in the class together. Um, we were sitting there staring at Mrs. Frere. She's not here today, I don't think, right? No, she's not here today. But she told us her name was Mrs. Frere, and I think we can all remember this because she said her name was Mrs. Frere, like the song Frere and Jaka, and it kind of all made us laugh. <laughs> and um, how could we forget that? We really didn't know one another, but we really were forced to make friends and get to know each other during our second semester when we had Mrs. Frere again for our dental anatomy lab, um, where we looked at extracted teeth, and that was, that was a lot of fun. During our second year, we were faced with what we thought would be the scariest class ever, pre-clinic with Dr. Spears, or Miss Spears, as she likes to be called. That's her correct name. Um, we were taught how to correctly brush teeth, precisely use our instruments, and thoroughly document in charts. After we thought that we mastered these skills, we started into our guinea pig stage, which I'm pretty sure we like to call summer clinic. We were sophomores, it was really scary. Fortunately, we all made it through pre-clinic with the help of our amazing faculty and uh, the help of each other. After having only six weeks off for summer, we dove headfirst into our very long and very difficult um, junior year, tackling 16 to 17 hours of classes along with research, which whoever thought that Myra and Rachel would be on the prison's do not respond list, way to go girls. That one deserves a clap. All the while, we were juggling two to three days a week in clinic, seeing patients. During junior year, we wondered, more than once, if our program was the only undergrad program that, is, that was designed with premeditated murder in mind. When most people think of senior year, they think of relaxing and taking it easy. For dental hygiene, that's the complete opposite. This year has been a roller coaster of emotions due to what was on our minds, studying for national boards, finding a clinical board patient for NERB or CERTA, presenting senior research, trying not to hurt one another, and now I can add to the list, waiting for our NERB results. Six weeks, still counting. Even though these past four years have contained many eye-opening experiences, estrogen overflows that usually led to tears, and ponytail crimped hair, I do not think any of us would change one day of it. I think Dr. Seuss says it best. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. You are the guy who will decide where to go. This is it, ladies. We are the future. We are equipped to take our journey with the knowledge and skills that our teachers have helped us strive for. We would not be here today if it were not for our teachers and our families, their encouragement to learn, and their belief in us. Good luck and great job to both of the 2010 dental and dental hygiene classes. I guess I'm gonna present our um, Outstanding Teacher Award for the class of 2010. This class, um, we have loved this teacher to death. She's very amazing, she has helped us in many ways. So I would just like to go ahead and speak for all of us when we say, Miss Sue Ann Gatos, will you please come up and accept your award? Thank you, Kristen. Miss Mary Joanna Grisso, class of 2011, will now sing My Home Among the Hills. Oh. 
We have left the first rows in the auditorium vacant to accommodate photographers. I would like to invite those who wish to take photographs to come to the front at any time. Dr. Michelle Gay Wheatley, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs, representing the President of West Virginia University, Dr. James P. Clements, is with us this morning to confer the university degrees. Will the class of 2010 please rise? Candidates from the School of Dentistry. All right, let's try that again. Will the class of 2010 please rise? Candidates from the School of Dentistry, your field has brought about the modernization of oral health care and has thus made an important contribution to the general human well-being. You take upon yourselves today as doctors of dental surgery and bachelors of dental hygiene the responsibility of performing to the best of your abilities the great services of your honored professions. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the West Virginia University Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Among the, you can sit down. <laughs> Among the highlights of today's convocation is the recognition of this year's candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Amy Funk, the Interim Director of the Division of Dental Hygiene, Department of Periodontics. She will be assisted by Ms. Sue Ann Gatos, Clinical Assistant Professor, and Ms. Carol Spear, Professor in the Division of Dental Hygiene, Department of Periodontics. On behalf of the Division of Dental Hygiene, I would like to congratulate both graduating classes of 2010 and welcome their family and friends today. The Dental Hygiene Class of 2010 will receive a Dental Hygiene Pin signifying clinical competency. The circular design of the pin denotes perpetuity and the lilac border is the official color of dentistry. Inscribed on the border are the words, West Virginia University Dental Hygiene. Located in the center of the pin is a caduceus upon which the initial D for dentistry is superimposed. Encompassing the entire pen is the laurel leaf, foliage once used to crown victors in the Olympic Games, but is now symbolic of scholastic honor. Two baccalaureate graduates are donning gold stoles, signifying their membership in Sigma Phi Alpha, the National Dental Hygiene Honor Society. Additionally, students that have achieved academic honors are indicated by asterisks beside their name in your program, and these students can be identified by the blue and gold corn cords worn today. Assisting me with the pinning of dental hygiene graduates are Ms. Sue Ann Gatos, Assistant Professor and Senior Clinic Supervisor, and Ms. Carol Spear, 
junior clinic supervisor and professor in the Division of Dental Hygiene. Nancy Marie Bortz, Steubenville, Ohio. <laughs> Christina Elise DeMarco, Erie, Pennsylvania. Nicole Jane Derringer, Bridgeport, West Virginia. <laughs> Carrie Dolan, Grafton, West Virginia. Kelsey Fell, Wilmington, Ohio. <laughs> Catherine Frody, Burke, Virginia. <laughs> Tina Lee George, Parkersburg, West Virginia. Kristen Nicole Goff, Morgantown, West Virginia. <laughs> Catherine Rose Grace, New Martinsville, West Virginia. <laughs> Holly Michelle Haldeman, Fairmont, West Virginia. Mariah Sam Henshaw, Huntington, West Virginia. <laughs> Katrina Marie Kiefer, Leon, West Virginia. Myra Catherine Kessel, Moorfield, West Virginia. <laughs> Rachel D. Littleton, Milton, West Virginia. Samantha Joanne Lopez, Bridgeport, West Virginia. <laughs> Catherine McPherson, Sutton, West Virginia. <laughs> Kristen Lee Pierce. Morgantown, West Virginia. <laughs> Micah Renee Poling, Fairmont, West Virginia. Lynn 
Lindsay Aaron Porter, Aliquippa, Pennsylvania. Catherine Stentz. Katie will be pinned today by her mother, Susan Stentz, a 1975 WVU dental hygiene graduate. <laughs> Kelly Danae Teeter, Franklin, West Virginia. Kimberly Ann Varda, Spencer, West Virginia. Thank you, Dr. Wheatley, Mrs. Funk, Ms. Gatos, and Ms. Spear. And congratulations to the members of the dental hygiene class of 2010. Next on the program is the investiture of the candidates with the academic hood and conferring of the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery. The hood represents academic and professional achievement and is worn with pride and dignity. Please note, as the candidates are hooded, the border of the hood is trimmed in lilac, which is the identifying color for dentistry. The colors on the inside of the hood are gold and blue, signifying West Virginia University. The graduates inducted into Omicron Kappa Upsilon, the National Dental Honor Society on Thursday evening of this week, will be wearing an academic stole that is part of the academic attire. The stole is in the colors of OKU, navy blue with gold embroidery trimmed in lilac for dentistry. Today's candidates for investiture will be presented by Dr. Robert Wanker, Assistant Dean for Student and Alumni Affairs and Professor, Department of Periodontics. He will be assisted by Dr. Sheila Price, Associate Dean for Admissions, Recruitment and Access and Professor, Department of Diagnostic Sciences, Dr. Robert Hornbrook, Interim Associate Dean for Clinical Education and Patient Care and Professor and Chair of Periodontics. Dr. Wheatley will, con will be conferring the university degrees. She will be assisted by Dr. Christina DeBias, Associate Dean for Academic and Postdoctoral Affairs. Beulah Ann Bean, Romney, West Virginia. Beulah will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff. Matthew Lewis Barbera, Gilbert, West Virginia. Matt will be hooded by Dr. James Four. <laughs> Kayla Denise Buchanan, Gilbert, West Virginia. Kayla will be hooded by Dr. Dave Pudabar. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Byard, Glendale, West Virginia. Stephanie will be hooded by Dr. Jack Yorty.
Spencer Cole Campbell, Orem, Utah. Spencer will be hooded by his wife, Dr. Sabrina Campbell. Daniel Todd Carrier, Morgantown, West Virginia. Dan will be hooded by Dr. Bob Hornbrook. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Cassis, Fayetteville, West Virginia. Dan will be hooded by his father, Dr. Bruce Cassis. Cassandra Justine Casto Molina, Salem, West Virginia. Cassie will be hooded by Dr. Susan Morgan. Christopher Brown Chambers, Ravenswood, West Virginia. Chris will be hooded by Dr. Brian Weaver. Donald C. Chapman, Jr., Morgantown, West Virginia. DJ will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Doyoung Choi, Seoul, South Korea. Doyoung will be hooded by her uncle, Dr. J. Dyer, and by Dr. Peter Nan. Todd Cassidy Clarkson, Bluefield, West Virginia. Todd will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Ricky L. Cremines, Jr., Huntington, West Virginia. Ricky will be hooded by Dr. Caleb Goyce. Thomas Charles Ferugia, Lockport, New York. Tom will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Ernest Stephen Fregale, Bridgeport, West Virginia. Steve will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. Julie A. Gamble, Waynesburg, Pennsylvania. Julie will be hooded by Dr. Caleb Goist. <laughs> Heather Denise Gibson, Elkview, West Virginia. Heather will be hooded by her dad, Dr. Bill Gibson, and her brother, Dr. Will Gibson. Ashley Lane Griffiths, Elkins, West Virginia. Ashley will be hooded by Dr. Dave Pudabar. Erin <laughs> Mully Hardman, Parkersburg, West Virginia. Erin will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. Jamie Lynn Horn, Three Springs, Pennsylvania. Jamie will be hooded by Dr. Todd Walls. <laughs> Margarita Ali Jaber, Fairfax, Virginia. Margarita will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff.
Daniel Crandall Johnson, Buchanan, West Virginia. Dan will be hooded by his father-in-law, Dr. Steve Johns. <laughs> Angela Isabel Justice, Grants Pass, Oregon. Angela will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff. Stephen J. Justice, Justice, West Virginia. Steve will be hooded by Dr. Susan Morgan. <laughs> Tabitha Lee Justice, Bluefield, West Virginia. Tabby will be hooded by Dr. J. Dyer. Alexander Krasnitsky, Kiev, USSR. Alex will be hooded by Dr. Jack Bowers. <laughs> Holly May Lindsley, Corrales, New Mexico. Holly May will be hooded by her dad, Dr. Guy Clark. Emily Faye Little, Winsboro, Louisiana. Emily will be hooded by her dad, Dr. John Thomas Little. <laughs> Joseph H. Lowenthal, Rifton, New York. Joseph will be hooded by Jake to James Four. Suzanne Yvonne Moss, Rifton, New York. Suzanne will be hooded by Dr. Dave Pudabar. Anthony Edward Mara, Fairmont, West Virginia. Anthony will be hooded by Dr. Nathan Bean and Dr. Mike Metter. Douglas Barrett McArthur, Elkins, West Virginia. Douglas will be hooded by Dr. Steve Johns. <laughs> Kelly Lynn McCown Smallwood, Falls View, West Virginia. Kelly will be hooded by her husband, Dr. Tony Smallwood. Adam Joel Myers, Morgantown, West Virginia. Adam will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Nicole Renee Naylor, Lockport, West Virginia. Nicole will be hooded by Dr. John Wells. Mark Allen Robertson, Brunswick, Maryland. Mark will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Derek Allen Ross, Beckley, West Virginia. Derek will be hooded by Dr. Jonathan Hale. Ellen Ross, Wallace, West Virginia. Ellen would be hooded by her, her aunt, Dr. Joyce Radiker, and her uncle, Dr. Frank Hodges. <laughs> Edward Ray Scott II, Gawley Bridge, West Virginia. Ed will be hooded by Dr. Thomas Morgan and Dr. Robert Harris.
Zachary Scott Sisler, Kingwood, West Virginia. Zachary will be hooded by Dr. Tom Leslie. Larkin Patrick Schwartz, Charleston, West Virginia. Larkin will be hooded by Dr. Tom Morgan. Criscoll K. Thompson, Philippi, West Virginia. Crystal will be hooded by Dr. Rashad Shake. Ryan L. Ulibri, Farmington, New Mexico. Ryan will be hooded by Dr. Ara Chavez. Danielle Megro Wade, Morgantown, West Virginia. Danielle will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. Dana M. Wright, Oakmont, Pennsylvania. Dana will be hooded by Dr. Tom Leslie. Alicia Marie Yoakum, New Cumberland, West Virginia. Alicia will be hooded by Dr. Todd Walls. Let's give one more big round of applause to our new dental and dental hygiene graduates. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Christina DeBias, Associate Dean for Academic and Postdoctoral Affairs and Professor of Department of Periodontics, to come forward and recognize the recipients of the postdoctoral degrees and certificates. Good morning. The advanced education programs at West Virginia University School of Dentistry are an integral part of the educational, patient care, service, and research components that support the mission of the school. Four programs leading to the Master of Science degree are offered. Postgraduate training in endodontics consists of a two-year program leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in endodontics. Postgraduate training in orthodontics consists of a three-year program leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in orthodontics. Postgraduate training in prosthodontics also involves three years of study leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in prosthodontics. Certificates for each of these program graduates will be conferred during a separate ceremony. The names of the candidates for the Master of Science degree and or certificate are located in your program. Post-baccalaureate education in dental hygiene may be pursued on a full-time or part-time basis and consists of an additional 38 credit hours of study leading to the Master of Science in dental hygiene. Today, one student has earned the degree of Master of Science in dental hygiene. The recipient will be hooded by Mrs. Amy Funk, Interim Director of the Division of Dental Hygiene.
Christopher Lee Adkins, Whitesville, West Virginia. The Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery offers two postgraduate programs and a one-year graduate practice residency. The two postgraduate programs include the four-year oral and maxillofacial surgery residency and the one-year internship. Today, Dr. Brian Weaver, Chair of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery, will award the certificate in oral and maxillofacial surgery to Chief Resident. Dr. Rashad Sheikh from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of all our advanced education programs. Thank you. <laughs> we now have the presentation of some prestigious awards that are not in the program because the recipients are not known until the final grades are calculated. As a special means of honoring excellence and academic achievement, the faculty of the School of Dentistry presents certificates of honor to the dental graduates earning the top three grade point averages during their studies at the School of Dentistry as well as certificates of honor for the highest three dental hygiene graduates earning their grade point averages. Their certificate of honor for the dental graduate earning the third highest grade point average goes to Dr. Dana M. Wright. The Certificate of Honor for the Dental Graduate earning the second highest grade point average goes to Dr. Jamie Lynn Horn. The Certificate of Honor for the Dental Graduate earning the highest grade point average goes to Dr. Doyoung Choi. The Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene Graduate earning the third highest grade point average is awarded to Ms. Kelly Diane Teeter. The Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene Graduate earning the second highest grade point average is awarded to Ms. Holly Michelle Haldeman. <laughs> the 
the Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene graduate earning the highest grade point average is awarded to Ms. Catherine Stentz. I will now call upon Dr. Serber to give the charge to the class of 2010. On behalf of the graduates of the university who have preceded you, I extend to each member of the class of 2010 congratulations and best wishes. From this day forward, your names are forever linked to West Virginia University. The quality of a university is known by the reputation of its graduates. When employers see that your education has prepared you to excel in the workplace, that will enhance WVU's reputation and the value of your own degree. You will be this institution's best ambassadors. With that in mind, I offer you this charge to the class of 2010. Work hard, take risks, and don't fear making mistakes. Put your education to work improving our society. Develop a global perspective and apply your efforts to creating a more peaceful and more just world. Honor the sacrifices of those who came before you and do all you can to help ho those who will follow. Above all, never stop learning. Read, explore, travel, and expand your circle of friends. As you build new friendships, take care to nurture those you have made at WVU. Maintain your connection with West Virginia University. Show your Mountaineer pride, not just on game days, but every day in every place life takes you. Return to campus when you can to visit favorite professors and relive precious memories. As you leave today, consider the words of esteemed former WVU faculty member Maurice Brooks. He wrote, thus it is with those nurtured in Appalachia. They leave, but they look back, remembering pleasant things. The land has claimed them and its ties will not be severed. At West Virginia University, you will always have a home among the hills. Thank you. I now ask you all to stand, remain at your places, and join with Miss Mary Joanna Grisso in singing the West Virginia University alma mater. Please be seated. <clears throat> I would like to recognize the faculty, staff, and students who have worked together under the leadership of Dr. Robert Wanker and Ms. Marilyn Polly in making this convocation ceremony possible, along with the musicians who make the day even more special. I would like to add a special appreciation to Norma Tennant and Pat Smith and Robin Yorty et al. for their work this weekend on all of the Health Science Center graduation ceremonies and all of the graduation ceremonies. The students and I would like to express our sincere appreciation to Donna Ault, Kathy Boyce, Jennifer Laudermilk, 
and Mar Martha Sturms, who have spent so much time and effort in making all of the activities for this weekend come together. To the class of 2010, remember, you have the knowledge and skills needed to be successful in life. Think about where do you want to go in life? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want your professional life to look like in five years? Set your course and apply all of the power available to you. You must work for everything you attain in life. As I say to my daughter Mary many times, you need to put yourself out there, get involved. To quote Mark Twain, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. Graduates, enjoy the journey ahead of you. May the sun light your way. May love surround you. May the light that is within you guide you always. We ask that the members of the audience remain seated in their places until the graduates and the stage party have exited the auditorium. Following the recessional, everyone is invited to join us for a reception to the side of the stage. There will also be professional photo ops available for the graduates in the lobby on either end of the hallway. Thank you all for joining us on this very special occasion. Again, congratulations, class of 2010!